Hello and uh, welcome. So, let us just do a couple of quick problems now that uh, we saw how to deal with uh, the stable method. Uh, Here is a problem where x is uniform from minus 5 to 5. So, once again if, if you want to write the table uh, probability of x equals x and then there is an f of x that is given. It is equal to x if x is positive greater than 0 and is 0 if x is less than or equal to 0. So, let me just write down y here for you uh, y equals f of x. Then it is just the table minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there are 11 values here, it is uniform, so it is just all 1 by 11. I seem to have chosen 11 as my favorite number here in all these examples. Okay. And y is going to be, uh, you know, if it is less than or equal to 0, I am going to get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then I am going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, notice how uh, things change. So, y takes uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and if you have to write y and then probability of y equals y, I am going to write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just spacing it out. Uh, 0, you have to add everything. This is 1 by 11, 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 6 times. So, you get 6 by 11. For everything else, it is 1 by 11. So, look how easy it is. I think whenever you have a function of one random variable and you can write down a table, it is a small case. It is very, very easy and trivial to solve. Sometimes, you know, the random variable will, will be like a geometric random variable or something like that where you have, seems like it is a very big number, but still you can write down a table. Maybe you do not write down every possible value and you visualize the function using this table. You can, you can, it will help you a lot in writing down the probability finally. Okay. So, that is this problem. So, the next problem sort of uh, makes it very big, you know. I am just going to show you a very big random variable. It takes uniform from uh, minus 500 to plus 500. Seems like scary. It is a lot of values. It takes 1001 values, but you can still make a table, you know. I mean, the function is just max of x comma 5. So, what is max of x comma 5? So, if you want to write it down a little bit more, uh, the function is equal to 5 if, if x is greater than or equal to 5, isn't it? And it is equal to x if x is less than 5. Okay, so this is a way. Oh, no, 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 sorry. It is equal to 5 if x is uh, less than 5, and it is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 5. So it is max of x, comma 5. If x is bigger than 5, it becomes x. It is 5 if x is less than 5. Okay, so you can imagine making a table, and uh, you know, I, I know I am evaluating this function, so maybe I can make a table a bit cleverly and simplify my work. I am going to start with minus 500 and go all the way down to 5. Okay. So, all the every probability here is going to be 1 by 1001. Okay, right? Put a dot dot here, 1 by 1001, 1 by 1001, up to 5. And then, uh, you know, at 5, uh, I expect something, right? And uh, 6, etc., all the way down to 500. Again, 1 by 1001, maybe maybe I need to write 4, 4 is also good to write down 1 by 1001. And notice what is going to happen to y here, y starts out by being 5 all the way down to this, down to 5, it is 5 and then after that it goes to 6 and then goes all the way to 500, okay. So, so, so this table, notice how I put down this dot dot dot, okay. This dot 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 is what helps me write down a very large table in terms of uh, simple pattern. Okay, what is the pattern? When I write dot, 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 here the pattern is minus 500, minus 499, minus 498, so on, all the way to, ah, I got messed up, no, yeah, it is okay, I think it's fine. Uh, it is fine. It goes down to 0 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way, 5, 6, and keeps increasing up to 500. Notice how I just put dot, dot, dot. And uh, in the probability column, it is all 1 by 1001. So, I know the pattern. So, whenever I know the pattern, I can just put dot, dot, dot. Okay. So, in, in, in my mind, I should know what the pattern is, right. So, it is not the same pattern in every column, but the pattern is clear, right. So, so once I apply the function y, I know it is just 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, all the way till x equals 5. After that, it goes to 6, 7, 8. So, if the pattern is not clear to you, maybe you want to write a few more values, right? So, when you write it down, maybe you want to write down minus 499, maybe you want to write 0, 1, 2, 3, few more values, but still 
you can use these patterns to simplify your table. Okay? Instead of writing all the 1001 possibilities which would take forever, you can cut down by identifying these patterns and repetitions that are happening in your table. Okay? So, that's, that's the crucial notion here. Uh, in fact, any identification of these patterns will help you solve big problems. Right? So, I think you, you just look at this large data and then large values that X is taking, but you see a pattern. You do not have to write down every possibility, only some of them are important. Once you write it down, uh, you, you can notice first of all that Y takes values 5, 6, 7, all the way to 500. Notice again I am putting a dot, dot, dot. Okay? And then if I want to make a table of probability of Y equals Y, I would start at 5, 6, 7 and then I would put dot, 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 500. All these values are easy to write down, no? 1 by 1001, here, 1 by 1001, all the way to 1 by 1001. How many such things do I have here? Okay, from 6 to 500, that is 495 uh, entries here, right? Okay, so how many such uh, fives I had here? Right. So, this, this is this from 6 to 500 is 495, uh, from minus 500 to 5 is uh, I think it is 506 okay, entries here. Okay. So, this will work out to 506 by 1001. These two things add up. I hope I have not made up any made any mistakes in this counting. Uh, I think this works out okay. okay. So, this is uh, the probability and notice how it is just a question of identifying these patterns and carefully counting and then you can deal with this. So, this is what I meant by saying whatever the size of the problem may be, if you have one random variable discrete taking values, when you have one function, you can always sort of make the table work with these dot dot dots, right. So, you identify the pattern and it will work for you, okay. Uh, thank you.